Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today, I will try to discuss about a very important topic. How to improving the land use land cover accuracy in Google Earth Engine. So mainly there are a the lot of ways to improve the accuracy of your land use land cover classification map. So one by one, I will show you all of those things for the further tutorial also. So let's go about that. So there are a lot of way for getting the higher accuracy or improving your land use land cover accuracy. So first one is to be that you can adding some external prediction bands in your land use land cover map. Such as if you want, you can add the NDVI, NWI, NDBI. MNDWI, PSI, mainly Barent Soil Index, NDVI, Normalized Difference uh, Build-Up Index, as well as you can also add here the EVI, so which is the Enhanced Vegetation Index, as well as you can also add here the SAVI or Soil Adjusted Vegetation. Not only for that, if you want, you can also add here the more other indices for your as a prediction band in your algorithm, then we can easily get the higher accuracy. So mainly, how it will be work? So mainly, first of all, when you want to make the land use land cover classification map, we have to need a data set. So mainly, this data set is the combine of the different types of bands, pixel value. It also called the spectral signature. Okay. Suppose you want to make the land use land cover classification map, and you want to add here the prediction bands such as near infrared, red, blue, green, short wave infrared, okay? So this type of band you want to add as a prediction band. And it's a totally internal band. This type of band we can easily access from the satellite images. And we can easily make the spectral signature. But when you want to adding this type of external prediction band, such as NDVI, NWI, NDVI, MNDWI, BSI, NDBI, or EVI, or any other types of indices, then your data set will be more strong. Okay? Because suppose you want to make the classification for suppose uh, agricultural land and also vegetation. So, first of all, you can see the NDVI value. NDVI value mainly agricultural land, we can get the better than normal vegetation. Okay? So in this time NDVI, it also easily make the distinguished between the agricultural land and normal vegetation as well as NWI, NDVI. So all of those index, we can easily get the distinguish for our specific feature on the surface. So that's why it's a one kind of method, how we can easily uh, add the external band. I will show you the later. So it's a one kind of method to improving your land use land cover accuracy. And another method is that hyperparameter turning for machine learning model, mainly random forest. So basically, what is the hyperparameter turning? So basically, this parameter who is defined the model's architecture and referred to as a hyperparameter. And this process for searching for the ideal model structure is referred as the hyperparameter turning. So mainly, it's identify or searching what's the proper value such as decision tree, what is the proper value of the decision tree's number. When I set the number, I can get the better accuracy. So this is the another method for uh, identify or searching the proper value and get the better accuracy, hyperparameter turning. So now let's check the practically, then it's also better for that. So just I simply open my code editor. So here you can see this is the one kind of land use land cover classification map. So mainly it classified, you can see the water body, uh, agriculture, forest, vegetation, settlement, barren land, wetland. Okay, so basically it classified this type of classes. And here I can get this type of accuracy, you can see the, in this time, here we can get the validation accuracy is that 76.29%. We can get this, this type of accuracy. And we can also get the confusion matrix accuracy, this type of uh, it's a conf and we can get the kappa accuracy is the 71%, okay? So now I want to increase this accuracy, okay? 
So basically, when this accuracy will be improved, then we are we are get the better land use land cover map also. Okay. So now suppose in this time I want to add this type of external band, such as in this time you can see this result I can get when I just use this type of band. I just only use at the um, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8, B8A and B9. So when I use this type of band, then I can get the accuracy 76% and cup accuracy 71%. Okay. So basically when I add the more band, such as I want to add here the NDVI band, I want to add here the NDBI band or NDBI band or BSI band. So this type of external band when I add in here, then it also extract the pixel value for each point. Is point of water, is point of agriculture, is point of forest, is point of vegetation, all point of the settlement, barren land and wetland, all of this point extract the pixel value such as NDVI, NDVI, MNDWI, BSI and EVI. Then we can easily create the distinguish between that agricultural land and forest on vegetation. It easily separate. We can get the more pixel value of the NDVI. Okay as well as also for the soil index or barren soil index, wetland, okay, build up index. So this type of index also make the more distinguish between the each feature on the surface. So suppose in this time I want to add here the this type of external band. So I already add this type of band you can see. So in this time I simply add this type of band in here. Such as I want to add here the suppose uh, NDBI. So mainly it's a vegetation index. So just I put here the NDBI, normalized different vegetation index, as well as I put here the NDBI, mainly it's the build up index. Then I also put here that uh, MNDWI. So this is the water index I simply add in here. And then put here the suppose uh, barren soil index, BSI index. And I also add here the another index for the enhanced vegetation index or EVI, EVI. So in this time, I simply add this type of band also in here. In this time, all of those points, all of those points also struck this type of pixel value. Suppose this individual pixel, uh, this indiv individual point struck the information for NDVI, NDBI, MDWI, BSI and EVI. So all of those values, it will be struck and create the more powerful data set. So further, when I use this data set, I can easily separate and I, I can get the more clear result between the different types of feature such as water, agriculture, forest, vegetation, settlement, barren land, wetland. Okay. So basically in this time here you can see agriculture, forest, vegetation. Okay. So this type of class agriculture, forest, vegetation, all of these things is a totally is the similar spectral signature. But when I input here the NDVI, then we are also get the more distinguished between that agriculture, forest and vegetation as well as also in the settlement, barren land and also wetland. Okay. So basically settle, set, uh, settlement and barren land, we are get the almost same spectral signature. But when I input here NDBI, mainly this is the normalized uh, difference build up index as well as when I put here the BSI, which is the barren soil index, then we are also get the more distinguished between the settlement and barren land and also wetland. Okay, we can easily separate it. So this type of index we can easily add not only for that there are the lot of index is available for identify the different types of feature on the surface. So you can si simply add any types of index and then you can easily improve your accuracy. So now let's check about that after adding this type of uh, index what the result I can got in this time you can see it shows the 76 percent and 71 percent. So now I simply run the code and check the accuracy again after adding all of those uh, new prediction band. So let's go. So it's running now. So it loaded. Oh, 
Okay, so now here you can see I get the validation accuracy is the 84%. Okay, so when I adding this type of external band such as NDVI, NDBI, MNWI, BSI, or EVI, then this accuracy of my validation accuracy also increase. We can get the 84% accuracy. As well as if you want to check about the kappa accuracy, we can get the kappa accuracy is that uh, 80%. Okay, so now it also improving my accuracy. When I can get the, it's improving the accuracy, then I can get the better uh, land use land cover classification map. So this is the one kind of way we can easily add it the some external prediction band and stack this pixel value and then make the better accuracy. Not only for the band, we are also add the different types of index also, and then we can easily get the better better accuracy. And another way is that if you want, you can also use here the hyperparameter turning. So mainly it's identify or searching for the ideal value of the decision number. You can simply put this value, then we can also get the better accuracy. So for the tutorial, I also discuss about the hyperparameter turning, how we can easily make the hyperparameter turning using the Google Earth Engine platform and make the better accuracy. Okay, so in the meantime, I also give you an announcement about our upcoming online training program. So basically, this training program will be start on the 8th December. Uh, it is a total new best. If you want to join our uh, new best, then you can easily contact with this WhatsApp number as well as you can also contact with this email. So basically, it's the total seven days online training program for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the Google Earth Engine or who don't have any knowledge about that uh, JavaScript programming or Python programming. Okay. Uh, you can see all of those course content in this time. So I added all of those things in this video description. You can simply check it. I hope you can easily get the more information about this upcoming online training program. So you can see all of those uh, content I already added in my video description. You can simply check it. As well as you can get the some uh, benefit about this online training program. When you can complete your all of those things, you can get that e-certificate from us. As well as you can also get the all of the slide, PDF, all of those practice code you can easily get. You can get the, all of those recorded video class as well as you can get the lifetime teaching support. Okay. So it's very important for that when anyone uh, uh, learn the Google Earth Engine program as a beginners, they face a lot of problem. Okay. And so that's why you need the continuous support. Okay. So this support you can get when you want to join our online training program for any issue or any code problem, you can easily get the lifetime teaching support. So if you want to join our upcoming online training program on the 8th December, simply contact in the WhatsApp number. As well, you can also contact with this email. Then you can easily make the registration. And after that, you can join our new Google Classroom. As well as you can also access our new WhatsApp group about the upcoming best. Okay. So today is no more. Stay happy. Stay safe. Thank you for watching that.